Well, we're gonna see if my mic works here, and uh, yeah. So, if uh, if uh, we're doing uh, first blog, first vlog, we're gonna give her a whirl. Um, just gonna kind of go over a little bit about myself and what I'm riding and etc. So, redefine uh, up north in uh, Minnesota here. As you can tell, the roads are still pretty crappy. Lots of dirt, potholes, awful. Uh, that Glock guy is right here with me. Um, I ride a 03 600RR, slightly modded, nothing too fancy. PC3, uh, stainless steel brake lines, uh, velocity stacks, shorty levers, etc. cetera. Um, nothing fancy. Just over 12,000 miles when I bought it. Uh, it was primarily used as a track bike. And, uh, yeah. Um, that's about it for me. Um, yeah. Just kind of out for a cruise. It's still pretty chilly. It's like 50 degrees. But gotta get out and ride if we can so um yeah just want to give a shout out to a couple guys uh chase on two wheels uh yummy r6 downshift you guys kind of got me into the scene um been riding for a couple years and just recently started uh um following you guys on uh youtube and such so you guys are kind of the the main few that uh got me into uh trying to start up the moto vlog That Glock guy up there, he's riding uh, O2 Jigser. He's got mostly the same kind of things going as I do, the PC3, etc. Um, he does have a shorty exhaust on his, so it's it's nice and noisy. He's got a chopped down Yosh with Jigser 1000 headers, a tune, etc. I forgot to mention I actually have a, an Arata exhaust on my bike too, so that makes it nice and noisy. So hopefully this uh, hopefully this turns out all right. As you can tell by the sign here, we're close to Duluth. Uh, pretty close to as far north as you can go. About two and a half hours shy of Canada. So. It's friggin' windy out here today. Holy crap. Nice RX-7. I don't get much for nice cars up here. Too bad he's on the other side of the road. Glock guy currently has no blinkers on the front as his fairings are ripped off. We just put that thousand header on there and now his exhaust pipes are a little too close to the fairings so we didn't want to burn a hole in his fairings and melt them and all that fun crap. So, yeah. So, he's currently rocking hand signals.
Gotta have a little fun anyways. Well, now that it's actually, you can probably hear me again. Uh, as far as gear, I'm kind of one of the, all the gear all the time of some sorts. Definitely always a helmet, gloves, some kind of boots, or at least shoes. Um, right now I'm rocking a Speed and Strength, Speed and Strength uh, jacket, textile. It's been super nice, dummy well. Uh, gloves, some A stars. Nothing too cheap, not the overly expensive. I'm looking to get into a pair of gauntlets here soon. Got my eyes on a set of SP1s. Looking to do some track days uh, at some point. So uh, hopefully those would uh, serve me well, both uh, street and track use. And then uh, over the winter here, I just picked up a set of uh, Axo uh, Primata boots. Um, picked those up from Motorcycle Superstore on their daily deal. If you don't uh, get their daily deal email, you should because some of them are super awesome. I think these boots are normally like a $200 set of boots and I got them for $89 shipped. Can't really beat that. Uh, it's a great deal. Um, as far as a helmet, rocking uh, the Scorpion XO 700 I believe. Can't remember. Uh, it's got the flip down inside visor, all the goodies and stuff. Um, and then I just recently picked up the uh, the Ghost HDS action cam, which is what I'm uh, recording this on. So yeah. See now, Mustangs we do have a lot of. Although I think everywhere has a lot of Mustangs, unfortunately. So. I also forgot to mention I do rock the uh, GPR uh, steering stabilizer. Super nice. Definitely not something that you need for everyday riding, but uh, it's definitely nice to be able to adjust that uh, tension in your uh, in your handlebars. So if you uh, are looking for something to just kind of hold your bars a little tighter, definitely the way to go. It's awesome. It's nice that you can just spin the dial and change the change the amount of strain on there. So. Definitely a good recommendation if you're uh, looking for something like that. I think this is uh, where I'm going to leave my first video. So uh, we'll end her here. Why don't you guys uh, hit me up in the comments section with any uh, any uh, questions for me. Anything future you'd like to hear about. Uh, otherwise, uh, throw in what you wear for gear uh, in the comments. And uh, any improvements or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, let me know what's up. And uh, appreciate the watch. Subscribe. Thanks, guys.